What's up everybody, my name is Jay and welcome back to my Tech Vault. And today we're going to be talking about the Ryzen 3000 series for the bazillionth time on this channel. But you all know that when I like something and I'm really excited about something, I tend to talk about it a lot on here. Um, and that's kind of what we're doing. So, we all know that we've got these rumors floating around. We've got a lot of rumors floating around. Um, and Lisa Su, CEO of AMD, is going to be giving a press uh, a presentation at Computex 2019 and this is going to be May 27th um, at I believe 10 p.m. Eastern or 10 a.m. Eastern time and obviously when we get something like this um, last time I actually live streamed my reaction and kind of talking with people as we did the CES 2019 presentation as she was you know doing it live and we didn't get no news um, and <clears throat> a lot of people have been you know discussing you know, will they release it? Will they not release it? And if you look in the past, AMD has always released a product at some type of big trade show. Um, and to simply say the least, uh, this is the best opportunity they're going to have um, to release this product or to announce this Ryzen 3000 series for a good half a year. Um, I believe up into, um, yeah, I think for a good um, couple months. And so really the best option is in May, um, is for them to release it and then have them ready for um, the anniversary of AMD, uh, which I also think, I think that's somewhere close to there as well. Um, I forgot the exact date. I believe it's May 4th, which also doesn't kind of line up. But um, for the most part, Lisa Su should announce these processors. Otherwise, there is really no other um, position to, you know, announce them in. Um, so what are we going to expect, like, Specs-wise, what can we expect for her to discuss? And honestly, there's been a lot of going around, um, but really, I see no way possible um, that they don't announce these processors and give the full spec sheet. If they go about and they don't announce them, and they don't say anything about them, there's not going to be a, s a single place publicly where they can do that again. And I think I've already talked about that. And the other thing to keep in mind is they want to release graphics cards, um, which would be assumed as well, another good opportunity. Um, and then obviously, um, according to the wording, it says, uh, you know, Lisa Sue wants to go over the next generation of high-end computing, and therefore that would obviously mean the next generation of processors, uh, graphics cards, a lot of good things. Now, obviously, Navi is something that we've been really excited about, um, but since Navi also happens to be kind of, I feel like this release date would be very close to the Radeon 7, um, it's a little bit odd off. Now there was a, another leak that came out talking about Navi 10 and Navi 20. Navi 10 is supposed to be the low uh, end replacing the five, uh, Radeon RX 500 series, um, leaving the high end of course for the Radeon Vega um, 7, which, um, Radeon 7, um, which is of course slated for the high end market. So then the Radeon 20 series is supposed to be able to take on the 2080 Ti, but that of course is coming out next year. So what what this really comes down to is the fact that we've got an interesting opportunity for AMD to make an announcement. Um, I'm obviously going to try to live stream my reaction and kind of discussing that with people. I don't know what day it falls on. Um, I might not be able to. Um, and then also another thing to keep in mind is I'm assuming that since AMD said that these processors, and whoops, in particular, um, these processors um, from the CES, that's what she said, is that they were supposed to be released mid-year, which May is already very close to mid-year, so either if we don't get an immediate like release, I would assume very, very shortly after they are announced that they should be released, which will probably be one of the shortest you know turnaround times from being announced to released um, that I think we can imagine, or I think of that I can think of in the past couple releases. Um, another thing to keep in mind is that honestly we should start seeing a couple more leaks about you know product performance because we've heard a lot about these processors and now since we're getting close to a an announced date and I definitely think the release date is close behind um, then that release date should also have some motherboard companies and some people getting hands on the hardware and also leaking that as well. But thank you very much for you know hopping in here for this lovely day of uh, tech news, um, or tech leaks, whatever you like to call it, um, and of course check out the channel for other cool tech related news, reviews, builds, etc, and uh, as always, 